Harry and Meghan's decision not to join the royal family for Christmas ruined their hope for redemption in 2024. The idea of Harry and Meghan spending their holidays in California, instead going home to the UK to spend it with his family ruined as his hope of redemption 2024. The year was rather a tough one with all the ups and down for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, alongside with Prince Harry memoir, being the most and fast-selling non-fiction book in the UK since records began. It was rather unfortunate for the Sussexes later this year, as they lost their pounds 18 million Spotify deal, just after Meghan failed her archetype podcast, Make Consumers Happy. The royal author said they ruined all the chances they had to rebuild their image and relationship with the royal family, as they didn't spend their Christmas at Sandringham. Phil also said to The Sun, Harry and Meghan have let it be known that they see 2024 as their year of redemption, to which my reaction is good luck with that. It's a trite phrase dreamt up by their Hollywood PR people, and in reality means very little. Phil later on said they need to show that they want to be redeemed, and not just talk about it. Phil later on proceeded by saying Prince Andrew and Sarah of York, sent a clear message everyone was welcome, except Harry and Meghan. He further on said Meghan and Harry will not be able to compete with the Prince and Princess of Wales. He told the outlet, I think the penny has finally dropped with them the Sussex, that they can never compete with an ancient institution admired around the world, particularly the goodwill still lingering from the late Queen's reign. William and Kate have never been more popular, and the Sussexes can't hold a candle to them. Okay, have contacted representatives for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. A royal expert, Ingrid Stewart, says that Meghan and Harry might have finally come to their sense and wishes to make amends with the kind. 75. In the new year, as the couple need the kind and his blessing, far more than the king needs them. Ingrid also said on GB News that it's obvious that the king wishes to see his grandchildren Archie, or, and two years old Lilibert. She said this obviously King Charles want his son and his grandchildren, and last summer he apparently invited them to Balmoral, which they turned down. However, the king didn't bother to mention his son and wife's names in his Christmas message. The speech which was aired on BBC One, only laid emphasis on the Buckingham Palace, and highlighted the work done by Prince William, the Princess of Wales, and their children Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and the Prince Louis, 5 in 2023. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more of the same. See you soon.